So Trade and View, this is where our trading platform, where we are going to, not our trading platform, but this is where we mark up our charts and analyze and see what's going on. All right, let me sign out. All right, so what you want to do is click on Get Started. This is what we're going to need on your computer, family. Remember I told you we're going to need a computer? This is what we need a computer for. It's on Trading View. We need a computer. If you try to do this on your phone, it's going to be totally different. And I won't be able to help you um, like I would on the computer. So put up trading view on the computer. I'm going to give 15 more seconds, and then we're going to continue, family. We almost finished. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to the right where it says get started. We're going to click on it. Click get started. It's going to say $0 forever. We're signing up for free, family. All right? Press sign up. Here you got different options. You can sign up with your Google, your Facebook, Yahoo, Apple, or your email. So click on one of these and let's sign up. I already got my account created, so I'm going to press sign in. All right, so we go here to products. We're going to click on super charts. All right, yours is going to look a little different from this. One second. All right, the first thing I want you guys to do once you're logged in. Okay, set it up on a previous call. Okay, perfect. Steering, I have it set. Yes, perfect. Love it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, family, for all my people that's setting this up for the first time, I want you to go over here on the right side to the watch list and X all of these out. If this is your first time logging in, if you already got the set up, you're good, family. You are you are good. If this is your first time, you already have preloaded list right here, preloaded list. I want you to X all of this off. X, 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 everything off, family. All right, once we have done that, all right, once we have done that, you should have this clear, 100% clear. Nothing should be here. You're going to have a volume bar right here. I want you to delete this volume bar. You're going to have something like this right here at the bottom, right? Volume bar. I want you to click on it and press delete. All right, so that's not there no more. A lot of people, they find that very distracting. So we're just going to delete it. We're going to go over here to the left side. This is our tools, and we're going to add our tools, okay? Let's go over here to our left side on the second row. Let's click on it. It's going to open up your lines. From here, we're going to press star, a.k.a. favorite, and we're going to star our tread line. We're going to star our array. We're going to start our horizontal line. We're going to start our horizontal ray. And we're going to start our vertical line. And last, we're going to start our parallel channel. So these six. Parallel channel, vertical line, horizontal ray, horizontal line, ray, and tread line. All right, we're going to move to the next row, the third row. I want you to click on Fib Retracement, star. We're going to go to the fourth row. Head and shoulders, star. Just head and shoulders only, star. We're going to go to the fifth row. We're going to start the long position and the short position. Scroll down, price range, star. We're going to go down to the sixth row. Scroll down to where it says shapes. We're going to start the rectangle, the path, and the ellipse. All right, and that's it. You've created your toolbox. This is what I call my toolbox right here. So all your tools are right here in your toolbox. All right. I left one out. Let's see which one I left out. Go back to the third row. 
where it says fib retracement and go down to where it says GAN box. That's the one I left out. On the third row, fib retracement and GAN box. All right. So here you have your tools right here. So you can mark up the charts and analyze and see exactly how price is moving. All right. So everybody should have that. We're going to go up here to the top where it says to say a D. You click on the down arrow. And right here, we're going to add our time frames, family. So we're going to start from the month. Let's start the month, the one week, the one day, the four hours, one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, three minutes, one minute. Let's start all of those. How do you expand your screen and make it bigger, smaller on TV? It's just playing with the trackpad with two fingers in the middle right here where my mouse is in the middle. That's how you widen it. And then right here where the numbers are, this is how you make it longer and shorter. All right, where the numbers are. So once you just start to get more comfortable and marking up your stuff, trust me, it's going to be a lot easier. When I first started, it was a mission trying to figure this out. But you'll get used to it and you're going to be a pro. All right, so we got our time frames. So slide over to the right. You want to click this little down arrow right here. This is going to be our chart view. So we got our candles. Let me break that down real quick. We got our candles. Let's break that down, family. Let's break down these candles. All right, let's break down these candles. Let's go to the day time frame. All right, so I'm gonna look at these two candles right here side by side. When we're talking about the candlestick, if we're on a day time frame, that means each of these candles represent 24 hours. All right, 24 hours. If you click on the four hour time frame, each of these candles will represent four hours. All right. Right now, the market just opened back up. It's 5.20 p.m. The market just opened back up. So you see right here, each of these candles represent 24 hours, right? This candle right here just opened. And right here, it's telling you we have 23 hours and 40 minutes left in this candle. Once this is over at zero, a new candle will open up. All right? Everybody's with me? So when we're looking at the candles, we're looking at exactly what is the candle telling us. So let's break this down. We're going to look at the selling candle first. My black candle is my selling candle. My blue candle is my buying candle. Selling meaning it starts from high and it ended below. It starts from higher and it ends below. Can we put a timer for the candles? What do you mean? Like this? Like I have right here, it should be on the right side. It should be on the right side for you. All right, it should be on the right side. If not, if you don't see it, you could right click and put countdown to bar close. If you don't have that on, it'll look like this. You could right click and press countdown to bar close. And you have your timer right here. All right, so let's get back to this real quick. Selling candle is going to open. This is the body. It opens up here and it closes down here. This is a selling candle. All right, what do we see right here? We have something called wicks. This is your upper wick, AKA your upper shadow. This is your upper wick. And that just symbolizes the height. This is the, the highest price went during this 24 hour period. This is where the highest it went, but that's not where it closed, all right? This is the height where it went. Then we got the lower wick, AKA the lower shadow. And this is showing the lowest that price went. All right, so y'all see this clearly? Let me know yes in the chat if y'all see this clearly. No. This is your body and this is your wicks. Your upper wick, lower wick. All right, so this is our candle. Very simple. Now when we go over now to our buying candle, buying candle is blue for me. You can put whatever color you want. But that's going to symbolize it started below and it closed above. It started here closed above. This is why it's a buying candle. All right. Same concept with the wicks. 
This is the highest price went. This is the lowest price went. Everybody can see that clearly. We have any questions on that? That is this candlestick 101, understanding what you're seeing, the body and the wick and what it represents. All right. We get back. All right, so, so for some people, we're looking at this right here. We've seen a lot of movement happening. Prices consolidating. Price moves in three directions. Uptrend, downtrend, and sideways. This is called um, consolidation, all right? So right now, a lot of people will see wicks and they get confused. They don't like too much wicks. And they will go over to the line view. So I want you to put the down arrow. I want you to start the candles. And I want you to start the line. Candles and line. Start both of those. Okay. So when you go to the line view now, it's no wicks. It's no wicks in the line view. It's only showing where price is turning all right so a lot of people like to see this now and they will draw up certain areas they draw up their support for example it might be like right here boom they draw their support they'll draw their resistance based on this all right so you see boom 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 resistance broke it this is what we watch in the video family put a little bit higher right on top Hit it one time, came back, hit it again, broke it, came back and retested it, right? Shot up, coming back here to retest this now as a floor. It's retesting it as a floor right now. This is what price is. This could potentially be an area where it hits and reverses and shoots up. So this is a very good area to monitor right now, all right? But a lot of people, they'll do the line view because there's no wicks, there's no confusion, it doesn't distract them, it's just... Pivots. These are called pivots. They're only looking at pivots where price came up and changed direction. All right. Let's go back to candle view. You can see how it looks on the candle view compared to the line view. All right. We're not doing any indicators right now. No indicators. Let's go over to the right. Let's go to our watch list, family. Let's go to our watch list. All right, so our watch list, I want you to click on this plus sign right here. Click on this plus sign where it says add symbol. All right, so this is what it's going to look like, and we're going to add our Forex. Slide over to Forex, click Forex. Down here where it says all sources, I want to click on it and go to Oanda, O-A-N-D-A, -A, Oanda. Click on it. So right now we got Forex selected and we have Oanda. Now I want you to press the plus sign on the pairs that I tell you. Press the plus sign. So Euro USD plus sign. GBP USD plus sign. GBP JPY plus sign. USD JPY plus sign. AUD USD plus sign, USD CAD plus sign, Euro JPY plus sign. Scroll down, AUD JPY plus sign. Scroll down a little bit further. The last one will be Euro AUD plus sign. We're going to stop right there, family. That is for our Forex pairs. All right, let's go to all. It says all. Let's click on all. Here, I want you to type in gold. Gold is the first one we're going to do, gold. So we type in gold. It's going to be TVC. Plus sign. All right, let's go back and search. We're going to type oil, crude, C-R-U-D-E, crude oil, T-B-C, plus sign. All 
All right, let's go to the next one. We're going to type BTC for Bitcoin. BTC, US dollar, bit stamp, plus sign. Let's go back in the search. ETH, Ethereum, US dollar, bit stamp, plus sign. Okay, let's go to our indices now. So let's type in US 30 first, US 30. It's going to be capital com plus sign. Let's go to US 500. US 500 capital com plus sign. All right, let's go to JER30, a.k.a. DAX. JER30, ACAP, plus sign. Let's go to NAS100. All right, Nas 100. I know it should be Nas 100, but I'm from New York, so it's Nas. Pepperstone, plus sign. All right, the last one we're going to do is our DXY. DXY, Dollar Currency Index, TVC. Plus sign. And there we have it, family. We done completed our trading view. We got our toolbox. Boom. This is what we're going to use to analyze the charts. All right. We got our time frames, right? We got from our month to our week to our day to our four hour down to the one minute. This is called your top down analysis. We got our chart views. We got our candle and our line. And we got all our pairs right here. All right. Drop an eight in the chat if you got all of this completed. Drop an eight in the chat. If you've completed this and you have your sway charts already created, you are officially finished. You're ready to start the race. You're ready to get going with us here in OBG and kill it, family.